Hello, cow tipping fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is My Sands 3 Minutes Max. We left off yesterday talking about prefetch, and I had showed you a screen where we ran prefetch uh, CMD to pull out, push everything out to a CSV. And we left off on what you see on the screen, and I told you that we, I was going to show you a trick how we can get that down below 10 seconds, because who's got that kind of time? <clears throat> so you're going to see that I'm going to run this command, but as I run it again, I'm going to go dash Q for quiet. Let's see what happens when I run that. It's done in less than one second. I told you I'd do it in 10% of the time. So we've got this pushed out now. What does it look like uh, in the spreadsheet that we've created? In the spreadsheet we've created, we have, now I've redacted this so that it's easier to go through, <clears throat> but we have the source file name, the prefetch that it came from, in other words, when the prefetch was created, when the prefetch was modified, the executable name that was being used for the prefetch, we have the run count. How many times was the program run? When was the last time it was run? And what about the last one, two, three, four, five, six? So we have a total of eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times that it was run. Pretty hard for someone to lie their way out of that. Oh, I just accidentally fat fingered the program. Really? 129 times? I think not. So if we look at something like this Artex file, we can see when the prefetch was created, and we can see in the instance of this one, the source created and the source modified are the same date and time. That's because it was only run once, and we can see the time that it was run. But this isn't the only way to look at this great stuff. Nearsoft has a tool that allows us to look at exactly this. So in Nearsoft's tool, once again, we have the prefetch here. We have created time, modified time, all of the same kind of stuff, run times. But we have a much clearer visibility into what goes into uh, triggering this program. So let's go down to Microsoft Word. And in the bottom, we get to see all of the files that were needed to make it do what it did. Look at what we get to see. Some of the last files that were acted upon by Word. Why was Word called? To show these files. So now even if somebody wiped the drive or, or wiped Ren C Cleaner and so these shortcut files don't exist anymore, you could still pull them out of prefetch. Great artifact. In the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.